people, welcome back. We're going to talk about in 5.1, and we are going to be speaking about the idea of probability. Um, probability, what is it? Well, it's a long run relative frequency. Long run relative frequency. It always has a value between zero and one. And what we know is that when you um, take a short term event, that will be unpredictable. However, a long term repeated event is more predicted, predictable and gets close to that probability. And this is where this leads to this thing called the law of large numbers. If we do something many, many times, the proportion of desired outcomes will approach its probability. Will approach its probability. And so what we have here, let's go through some examples to illustrate this. Um, for example, Pedro drives the same route to work on Monday through Friday. His route includes one traffic light according to the traffic department, there is a 55% probability that the light will be red when Pedro reaches the light. Interpret this probability. Well, what we know is that um, if Pedro approaches the light, all right, many, many times, okay, so he's tapping it uh, many, many times. Um, about 55%, about 55% of the time, the light will be red. And that's what we know. And then it goes back to this thing of saying, um, over many, many times, over the long run, over the long run, Law of large numbers. After many, many times, the proportion that, that about that 55% um, will be approaching that probability. So that light will be red about 55% of the time if Pedro approaches the light many, many times. Not after one time or two times, after many, many. Okay. Um, another example of this is when we talk about probabilities in the size, okay, using the decimals. So, for example, um, this outcome is impossible if it never occurs. Well, in all these different probability statements, a never occurring outcome, never, that would have a zero chance. Okay, zero chance. All right, 0% probability um, or a decimal of zero. A certain outcome, something that's certain, will occur every time that has an outcome of 100% chance, which is, is one. Now, this outcome is very unlikely, very unlikely, but will once in a while occur in a long sequence of trials. All right, long sequence of trials, well, probably very unlikely is that one. So we're going to put 0 0.001, all right? So if you take that, that would be a, like a 0.1% chance. That is very unlikely to occur. And then this will outcome will occur more often than not. Now, the two different things you say that, well, more often than not, um, obviously 99% chance happens more often than not. And actually, we could maybe also get away with this thing 0.6, 6 percent chance that will also occur more often than not. So those two probably um, make sense where we would have an outcome that is more often than that. All right, now another situation that we have here, a husband and wife decide to have children until they have at least one child of each sex. Okay, one child of each sex. All right, the couple has seven girls in a row. Okay, the doctor assures them that they are much more likely, much more likely to have an next boy. Um, Explain why the doctor's wrong. Well, in reality, um, it's kind of like flipping coin. This goes back to this sense of short term is unpredictable. Now, we could say having seven kids in this case is a lot. However, um, if you flip the coin, all right, seven times in a row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, could you have a head and a head and a head and a head? Uh, head, head, and head. Would you expect it to be a tail? Could you have another head? And what are the chances of that eighth head happening? Does it have any bearing on the previous one? And the answer is no. The, all these trials are independent. And in the same way, um, having a child, there's a 50% chance, all right, of that occurring. And so, unfortunately, um, the likelihood... Hood, all right, of having a boy is still 
fifty percent. All right. Um, short term. Um, short term. Uh, short term uh, trials. All right. Are unpredictable. Eventually, it will approach that 50% mark, but the likelihood of that is still 50%, and so true is still unpredictable. So the doctor is incorrect. There is not a greater chance that there will be a girl um, coming. Um, eventually, it will happen. You just don't know when. All right, because this trial is still 50%, and that's what we know about probability. All right, we're going to go through one, two more sets of examples, um, just to kind of illustrate this. And what we have here is, in Wheel of Fortune, there is a... 11.1% chance or a one out of nine chance of probability of spinning bankrupt. If you didn't know that, that's what it is. On any given spin, interpret this probability. Well, as we said before, after many, many spins, many spins, all right, about 11.1%. Um, of the time, um, it, or the spin will land on, or it, I'm going to be more specific, the spin will land on bankrupt. Time, the spin will land on bankrupt. And that's what we know. Okay. So after many, many times, about 11.1% of the spins will land on bankrupt. Okay. Um, in the same way, in nine, nine consecutive spins of the Wheel of Fortune, none of the spins, oops, none of the spins land on bankrupt. The next consistent worry is that he is more likely to land on bankrupt now because bankrupt is due. Explain why this thing is wrong. Well, once again, um, each spin is in we call independent. We're going to learn more, more about that before. Each spin is independent. So as you spin this right here, um, there is 11% chance, all right, of getting bankrupt. He spins it again. There's still that 11 all right, percent chance. And even though he never landed on it, um, after nine spins, all right, um, that tenth spin, so da 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 da, all right, and a ninth spin, we know that one out of nine, is it any more likely that this tenth spin will be, all right, um, that, does that change? No. The answer is, it is still 11%. All right, after you do many, many times, yes. It will turn out that after you see how many times you'll have bankrupt, it will be around 11.1%. However, short-term um, events or, or patterns or trials or whatever will not do, are unpredictable. Okay, long-term runs are what will eventually get to 11.1%. Um, so the answer is why is it explaining wrong? Um, each spin is independent. You could say that. Um, the next spin, the person still has an 11% chance of getting bankrupt. The chances have not changed. Okay, and that's what we know. Okay, short-term trials, short-term runs are predictable. Long-term runs are not. Okay, well, I hope this helps you out. Um, this is going for probability again. Long-term relative frequency, short-term runs unpredictable. Long-term runs predictable. Um, law of large numbers states if we do something many, many times, the portion of desired outcomes will eventually approach that probability. That's what we know. All right. Well, I hope that helps you out. And good luck. God bless on the rest of your problems.